okay you are welcome back to my channel i want to talk about as an african as a nigerian as people that live in this world the young people the old women we all uh, want to succeed in life so i want to talk about the skill that will help us to you know learn the best job that we want or establish the kind of business if you want to if you're an entrepreneur you're a businessman you're a business people you don't have money you can start you can only start business or you want to learn a good job so we will look at the skills that will help you you know really scale up in life not necessarily the young people the younger generation uh i want to talk mostly about soft skills you know i was discussing with my friends who are business people they they they, they talk about the, that the youth don't have you know what it takes to be employed they are not employable and they, that they are not teachable you know but i define these two things in both sides yet the he's telling me that youth are lazy not necessarily nigerian youth but i disagree with him but in some cases youth are not lazy but they want something that can make them give them money instantly without you know trying to add uh, the hard work that you need to do or the smart work there are really work that you need to do before you you know learn the best job or get that kind the money you want today we there are digital skills there are many skills you need but there are two skills that's lacking in in youth there's mostly two skills that's character development and mental development which most youth don't have the character to to be employed because these two people they talking about sincerity and all that and sincerity have everything to do with character and uh we talk about mental development okay you have to develop your mental ability to think creatively but we will not go deep into mental and uh character development we will look in we will look into that maybe in my next video but let's talk about soft skills and many other skills that are required for you to you know to be scalable and be successful as young as a woman as somebody that want to you know succeed uh organization need employees who can complement strong technical competencies with solid soft skills we are managing delivery of speech communication skills and body language are some examples of soft skills so we'll look into some soft skills that you need as a person now that that's where you start from you know the soft skills so let's go in into that and you know know how to develop soft skills okay so i've talked about the you know soft skill okay creativity and critical thinking this one is number one creativity and every woman have the ability to you know generate multiple ideas every day now the the, the thought are things but your ability to there's there's no thing that there's no idea you generate that have never been generated before but your ability to you know think about them and generate that idea and make them really to be your own that if you have that ability that is greatest ability so creative creative thinking and critical thinking is the number one thing you need to do to in case you, you maybe you have an idea you want to travel out of country you want to establish a business you want to do your ability to think that thing over and over again is the greatest assets that you need to acquire so let's you know think about this critic creativity and critical thinking as number one soft skill that you need to generate you know we'll give you step by step maybe if you need Yourself. the next one is emotional intelligence communication active listening self-awareness reaction regulation emotional intelligence is a fundamental 
if it's a foundation skill for leadership every woman have that leadership quality in himself but your ability to develop that ability that uh quality within your organization is is another thing so emotional intelligence is required in every woman for you to be successful so think about emotional intelligence as the the, the next skill that you need to work on yourself you know as a career developer analyzing that this one is, is is a technical skill it's not uh, because i add some soft skills that you need and some technical skill then data analysis is one of those uh, uh, skills that require you for to, you to succeed most companies analyzing data synthesizing report and making businesses recommendation a data analysis is a specific job that you can pursue but the skill said can improve your value and performance in so many jobs yes including you no know, technical job for example marketers need data analysts to evaluate the sources of various campaigns we are feels like hr rely on data interpretation when it comes to hiring so performance management and co composition so basically so uh, and data analyst is to know your job you you, you 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 know you become a data analyst you know analyzing data so this is one of the scalable you know skills uh feel that you need to you know think about going in another thing is adapt adaptability i i was i was you know i, I come across one uh article and this adaptation to change you know i yes i study about it and I wrote some book about this adaptation to change, and I find out that most people, or most business people, most entrepreneurs, they are lacking on this uh, skill. When you, in, in tech, in technology today, the technology that exists last ten years, last five years, last twenty years are not so. So, are not the technology that exists today. Uh, so, if you rely on what you have learned last five years, last ten years, last twenty years, you cannot use it. To, you cannot apply it today. So, so, so knowledge is continual. You will continue learning. So, and and as things are changing now, people who are copyright, like assuming you are a copywriter, you write copies for businesses. You know. Uh, to go, maybe you 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 are a blogger, you're writing blogs. Now you you, you need to uh, develop the, the 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 level to adapt some technology like Chat GTV, Chat AI, uh, like Microsoft are developing uh, AI technology that can help people, you know, write. So you have to uh, uh, adapt that change. That yes, I really need to evolve as the world changing as the world is moving you need to change frequently with the world so 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 adaptation to changes adaptation means being able to change to achieve success employees in the leadership will usually have to manage user situation where there are no explicit instructions so 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 adaptation to change adapt the society adapt to the environment you find yourself maybe if uh those of us who are travelers when you travel places you, you, you need to you need to adapt to, to 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 that environment so adaptation to change when when you have one skill and you know uh, you study and know that that skill is is, is is you know diminishing it's going down you you can adapt to, to you can move over to the next skill available and you know move ahead so adaptation to change or the, the skill of adaptability is a skill it's a soft skill that you need to acquire self leadership there's no business today that that requires so self is the, uh, the greatest of all skills anything you're a fashion designer you're a mechanic you're a, uh, a, a developer you any field you find yourself sales is a great uh, sales leadership is a great quality sales are ultimately what keeps most companies profitable which means having sales leadership experience will give you opportunities in many different industries sales leadership is the ability to close business deals and coach others outstanding sales leaders are strategic so 
leadership on sales. You have to master sales. It's a very great uh, uh, quality for every individual. People management. In this people management, I uh, will expand it to mind management. You know, uh, strong people management skills are about building and strengthening uh, relationships, keeping the team on track. So, is uh, people management is a soft skill that you need to acquire. But mind management is advanced of skill uh, people management. So, when you maybe when you are employed and maybe you are you are you are choosing to 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 you know head your team, you know you are. Your ability to manage the mind of those people. In most times, it's not managing those people, but managing their mind. Because some in hiring people, maybe you are entrepreneur, you're a business person, you hire so many people that that they know their job, they know what they they, they are doing, but they have character problem. So your ability to manage those people is you are not managing them is to manage their mind, the ability to manage great mind. That's a wonderful skill. So you need to you know look at this skill. So if what I'm saying maybe there's one particular uh, subject or that you, that you know that will touch your life, don't hesitate to you know uh, write on my bio and tell me what you want so that we can improve on that aspect entrepreneurship skills every woman is an entrepreneur by nature so so but some entrepreneurs broad range of skills such as technical skills leadership and business management skills and creative thinking every entrepreneur like i have talked about creative thinking so every entrepreneur needs this creativity you need to create create you need to think creatively as an entrepreneur so entrepreneurship is is, is is like a businessman but it's a businessman with so many technical abilities so some business people may rely on what a particular business sells production whatever but an entrepreneur can easily venture into any business that makes you an entrepreneur and a critical thinker as an entrepreneur so study about entrepreneurship if you want to know more about entrepreneurship keep on write subscribe to my channel and write something about it so you go from there time management getting uh like other soft skills such as prioritizing schedule tax management and allocation are high demand time management means working efficiently companies in every industry look for employees so uh, time management is another skill you know when you, you need to schedule time okay tomorrow look i want to buy it eight to ten i will do this from ten to be you know you need to schedule your time and that make that will make your your managers or whatever people that employ you to be happy because you are able to manage your time time management skill is a very good skill that you need to learn persuasion and negotiation skill don't neglect this soft self skill is is one of is the one number one skill that you need to acquire when you come when you talk about when you come to skills you know so uh, in the workplace entails convincing others to agree to a commitment fully a course of their action and purchase a product or services companies especially value persuasive skill and their employees so your ability to learn persuasion and negotiation so so, so you, you 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 cannot uh remove these two words persuasion and negotiation when you persuade when you have a product the ability to sell that product is your your ability to persuade people to buy that product and you when people who are into services you have the power to negotiate business and close deals that is power of uh, negotiation another thing is business acumen. now i want to talk about this business acumen is defined as having a fundamental understanding of how a business operates then using that knowledge or effective to make logical business decisions so business sense a kind of business sense business acumen or business intelligence or all almost work together so you need to 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 to, to define what a business acumen is it's a kind of fundamental understanding of how business operate so a business agreement can venture into any business it's like an entrepreneur 
you know every every entrepreneur needs to help this business happening you know so you can derive any business or you can think and create any business within your organization business acumen is a portfolio of knowledge technical skills and soft skills you know a business acumen must know how technical and soft skills that is the quality of any business person business skills this is a general business skills. every person that born in that was created in this world are business person so 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 even if you choose to to work for people you're still doing business so business skills allow individuals to thrive in the workplace and make meaningful strategic contribution whether you are a business owner or an employee possessing certain competencies can help you positively impact you know the efficiency performance of uh, in productivity so i'm just listing all these skills so that you know the one that suits you will make in uh, will, will, will make a consulting plan on that particular listing and send across to you so that you learn exactly what you want now digital journalism you know general uh, as nigeria are doing their politics today uh election is at the corner you see people they are doing uh, political journalists and all that, all of them. That is, and when you talk about journalism, you think uh, that's a journal, but there are digital journalism and it is on high demand this time. So, if really you want to uh, launch a career on things, maybe you want to own a blog, you want to uh, have social media accounts, digital journalism uh, skills are a high demand for many rules. That previous required a person to understand conventional reported skills such as writing, interviewing, and researching. We are journalists are still required to research and report stories. You know, the, your ability to report stories via social media and you know capture and edit photos and videos. So you have you as a digital journalist, you you you, you you have the skills you need to acquire is photo editing, uh, video editing, researching, social media management. You have to, you know, know this and this. So, like I said, if you know you you you, you like this particular skill, write uh, and subscribe to my channel and write, drop your message so that I can make a video, and a particular video and all. And audio editing as a as a digital journalist video and editing is a skill that you need to know so if you want to further train yourself on this field uh, you need to you know because yeah yeah later on yeah. okay so we need to with, with cars, you know, video editing and uh, skills. So, to learn this skill, there are so many apps in the market today that uh, softwares that will help you train you uh, on this aspect of you know, video editing. It's a good skill. Management consulting. Consultant, management consulting is uh, aims to help organizations to enhance their performance. Management consultants and consulting firms are always on the edge to offer management consulting services to various organizations and enterprises. This eventually helps in the identification and solution of complex businesses. So, management consulting is another technical skill you need as an entrepreneur, as an employee, as a business owner. Management consulting is a business on the So, when you when you learn this, uh, uh, when you learn this skill, prove you are you be uh, you be a hot cake in the market. So management consulting is a good skill. Copywriting, SEO writing, you know, advertising a brand is crucial to its growth. At least in the competitive times we are living, and the key to effective. So copywriting is a good skill that. You need. Uh, in the market today, copywriting is. Though, as a copywriter, I want to tell you something. What I'm trying to tell you as a copywriter is 
maybe you, you like Christ, you want to go into popularity. Learn this uh, tools. Learn to use the digital tools. Chat GTP, uh, Chat that AI, and Microsoft Chat. Well, Microsoft I am uh, is working with Chat GTP, but they have developed their own system. You can use use it to you know enhance your 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 performance on copywriting. You know it will help you to do so. Learn these tools. This tool is going to help you to establish what exactly you need to establish on copywriting if you want to be a copywriter. Now, I want to conclude, you know, we, we have talked about copywriting and many other skills. But there are other skills that is missing. If you know any skill that is missing, write on bio, write on my uh, timeline or on, on message me so that we know uh, the aspect of uh, a skill that you want to go into. Make if you do. Um, cover it and step by step so these things i just list them so any skill that you know here that you, 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 you that you require or you need to learn just let me know so that i will do a few you know uh, uh, a few a few video and a few details about how you can become expert on that field so in conclusion if you start working on these top skills, you can carve an excellent career for yourself. Make money and build a brand. Building a brand is very important, especially your name. And rest assured, this competency will remain popular for a really long, very, very long time. So I ask you to take actions, look on these skills, you know, consider yourself going into this field and know how to you know, achieve these goals. This skills is very, 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 very important to achieve, you know. Learn these skills, computer skills, 